Welcome back to the shop, everybody. We're gonna begin the next phase of our rebuild for the American Pacemaker compound here. And these are the two uh, parts that are next in line here. So we have our lead screw and our lead screw nut. We're gonna start on the lead screw first. We're gonna get this completed and then later we will move on to the lead screw nut here. So we're gonna be converting this thread to an Acme. So the factory, uh, American Tool Works, when they built this, they used a square thread. So this is a three quarter five square thread profile. And we're gonna convert it to Acme because Acme is, uh, is, is an easier thread to, to manufacture a machine and it's easier to find the taps when you need there as well. So that's a, a industry standard size. So I believe they, they replaced you know, using square thread with the uh, Acme thread at some point during the, uh, you know, during the 1900s anyway. So what I have done is I have actually bought a tap. I got this from McMaster Car, so a three quarter five Acme tap. And we're gonna be able to use this guy right here whenever we go to machine our lead screw nut, this guy right there. But I also wanna use it before we get to that point and make a test nut that we can use as a gauge for whenever we're machining our lead screw here. So whenever I'm set up in the lathe and we're gonna be uh, machining our Acme thread, I would like to have something, you know, a nut that is machined with that tap that I'll be able to match to this thread here. So we'll be able to check it like a, like a thread gauge. So we're gonna start with that first, making a test nut. I've got this piece of bronze material right here. I don't know what the grade of this is, but this is something that, you know, my dad had in our shop and was probably used to make a lot of different types of parts. But I've got it on the shelf and it'll be a good uh, hex piece that we can use to make a test nut. So we'll, we'll start with this first to make our test nut. Once we get that machine, we're gonna start machining our, our new lead screw here. I do have a piece of stress proof material here that we'll use to uh, machine this. And one more thing, the gear is not part of that. That's actually a separate component that's pressed on and it's got a key there to help drive it. So we'll uh, press this off and then we're gonna machine the new lead screw. So let's go ahead and get started making our test nut. So our tap drill size for the three quarter five Acme is uh, like 570 thousandths is your tap size. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna be using a uh, 3564 drill bit for a pilot hole and then we'll bore it to our 570. This should give us between 20 and 25 thousandths of uh, material to bore out of there. If you don't have you one of these narrow rules like this, get yourself one. This is a stair it here. It's a nice tool to have to be able to uh, quickly verify depths of holes in uh, you know small diameters where your typical six inch rule won't fit. But just a nice little handy tool to have in your toolbox there. Use a 60 degree threading tool to cut the nice chamfer on the outside of the hex here. Uh, you just go until you clean up full, a full radius all the way around it there. That looks good. All right, we'll use a little catcher rod and the drill chuck. We're going to part this off. That way we can bore it and uh, face the other side. So we're going to be ended up making this inch and a half long. All right, I got to move my truck out of the way here. But we're just going to part this off just over an inch and a half. We're making a, we'll finish it out an inch and a half. So we'll go just a little over so we can face that other side off there, I like that. Stick our catcher in there. Nice and easy as it does it right there. Now 
This is our micro quick boring bar system using a solid carbide bar. Just bore it to our tap size of 570. I want to put some nice size chamfers on this to clear that's, that's a pretty coarse thread when it being an Acme number five. So we'll uh, chamfer both sides just using a piece of high speed that I got ground into a uh, chamfering tool. A lot of relief on this side so you can go up into a bore and clear the, uh, the bottom of the tool there. And even at that, it's still rubbing, so I need to pick it up just a little bit, clear it. There we go. We give it plenty of chamfer here. I think something along that lines right there looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and flip it around, do the other side as well. Ready for our tap. We'll go down to the flex arm. We're going to use that to do our tapping. See you down there. We're using my six inch uh, buck three jaw chuck here in the in the vise. What I've got is a is a like a toolmaker's uh, V block back there. You got it squared up. This is a like an arbor that I machine true with the chuck there, and I always use this in a uh, in like a four jaw chuck. So this will work good for what we're doing. I've got a clearance hole down through this piece. So, you know, inch and a quarter clearance all the way down to the bed of the vise there. So let's see, it's right there. I think I want to get it to where we can kind of see the, the tap clearing through the bottom of the work piece there a little bit. I just want to make sure it's in the center of the, the jaws. That should work right there. All right, so there's our tap. We're using, this actually fits into an 11 16 tap holder right here for the flex arm. And one of the things I wanted to point out was that this type of tap is actually considered a tandem tap. So you have two cut areas. The first area right here, which looks more of like your conventional V thread. So this is a smaller finished area of your Acme thread once it's cutting in there. So it's gonna kind of relieve most of the center of the thread that it's cutting. And once it clears, it's gonna come up to this area here of the tap and this is gonna finish out your Acme. So what this does is that instead of it just cutting one full thread at one time, it relieves part of the thread with the first section and it goes into the second section and finishes and cleans the thread out. And the other thing to keep in mind is that it's not advised to go in reverse with these types of taps. So if you can go all the way through your workpiece and clear it and be able to spin it and come out, that, that's what this is designed for. This is designed for through tapping, not bottom tapping and coming back out. You wanna go all the way through your workpiece with it. There we go. Let's go get the uh, machine fired up and we'll get this guy tapped. I am gonna go ahead and use some uh, lubricant on this even though we're cutting some bronze. I'm gonna be using this aluminum cut which works good for brass and bronze as well.
that. And let's just go ahead and pull the, pull the nut out. All right, there we go. Tap holders gotten tight there. I can't push that down. I'm gonna... there we go. Looks good. All right, I think that went well. We've got our test nut now machined. I think the tap did a pretty good job. It sure looks really nice in there. I think it, I think it just it made a really, really nice uh, high quality thread in there. So our, uh, our Acme tap did good. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I got this from McMaster Car. They have a whole range of Acme taps over there in the tandem style. Uh, probably a lot of them are in stock. This one's made by Wydell, USA made. And it's a it's a good quality tap. This one right here ranged. I, I think it I think it ran one hundred and sixty four dollars or so, something like that. So not bad at all, especially if you you know you got a lot of parts that you need to make with an Acme uh, thread through there. You can jump over there and uh, pick you up an Acme tap. So next phase, we're going to go ahead and jump on our new lead screw. That's uh, next in line, and now we've got us a nice uh, test nut to uh, gauge our thread as we machine that. We'll start by pressing the gear off and then we'll go to the lathe and start machining our new leech screw. See if we can get that Woodruff key out. 